Hi, I'm Michael Wessel, and I'm going to be our instructor today in looking at film holders for the view camera. We're going to be looking at how they work and how to load film into the view cameras, holders, and just how to load them into the camera. So let's get started. We're here looking at film holders for our view camera. There are different sizes of view camera holders for our film. Each camera is different in that it may be uh, film size may vary for that camera. They range usually from two by three all the way up to 16 by 20 in different sizes. Our typical sizes usually are five by seven, four by five, and we also have an eight by 10. This is uh, pretty large for uh, f uh, a format. Um, some photographers prefer different formats and that would be up to you to choose whatever format that you're uh, working in. The film holder has several pieces. Uh, basically you have the main body of the film holder itself. Then you have two slides. And then the other parts of the film holder include a flap with a groove in it where the, sli uh, where the, uh, where the slide fits into when it's um, slid into its slot. Uh, you have, at the top, you have the slot for the, where the uh, slide is going to go. Inside of the slot is a felting, or a piece of felt basically, to keep light from getting into um, our film holder. That's going to keep uh, our, light, uh, our uh, film holders light tight, and that's definitely something that we want when we load our film. Um, we have um, at the top of the uh, film holder, we also have locks. Um, so if we take our dark slide and we slide it into our film holder, like so, the locks will actually turn and cover the top of the film slot or the slide, dark slide, and I won't be able to move it up and down. This locks this in place in case they do happen to slide out. You don't want them to slide out. So make sure that you use your locks um, when your when your film's being put away or um, getting ready to be used. The other parts of the um, that we're looking at is uh, what's called the film area. So I'm just going to flip this over. This is the film area also called the septum. Um, then we have um, our um, we have little t um, marking tabs right here on both sides. Generally, most of the time, I'll mark them with the ISO here, and uh, on the other side right here, we'll mark. Uh, I, I typically will mark the number of the slide holder. So if it's one, two, three slide holders, to do that, I just use a a, um, a wax pencil to come in here, and I can write on these. Then it's easy enough. You can just use a finger, or you can uh, 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 to um, erase it, or the new uh, whatever you want in here for information. Also with our uh, film holders, um, we have what's called the channel, uh, the slide channel, which is uh, where the um, uh, where the uh, slide fits into as it goes down into there. There's grooves in there that this is called the slide channel. Uh, we also have the film slip. It's where the film actually is going to slide under these little slips and down into the um, film holder. We also have the um, uh, raised identification dots on our slide. So if we look at the slide here, it's got two sides. Uh, the slide has a silver side on this one and a black side on the other. Or you may have a, a film holder more like this one, these plastic ones, which has a plastic at the top here. Uh, th there will be a side that's black and another side that is white. These are going to indicate whether or not the film has uh, been exposed. So on the silver side, you'll notice that there's raised bumps right here. These little bumps um, allow us to actually identify if the film is in the holder, um, and it tells us that it has not been shot yet. So the silver side plus the, the uh, little um, dots here uh, are going to uh, make sure that when we're in the dark room and we load our film into uh, our uh, film holder that we can indicate and know that the film holder has been loaded. Once I've taken a photograph with uh, the uh, camera, 
I, as I um, as I take before I take the uh, film holder out of the camera, I'm going to reverse the slide so that the black is showing on the outside. Let's put in the slide holder so we're pushing it in. Uh, once we have it in there, you can see there's a black slide here. This is telling me that uh, the film has been shot uh, right after I have um, loaded the, or taken the photograph. So as you're putting this back in, you'll know that you've shot your film. You want to keep your film holders also as uh, dust-free and oil-free as possible. So when you're uh, using and touching your slide holders, you want to hold them along the edges or up here at this uh, up here at the top where the little handle is. You want to make sure that you're um, not getting dust on them. You want to keep dust out from the interior, from the septum and film area. Here, you want to make sure that they're dust free. You can vacuum them out or wipe them out uh, with a uh, damp cloth. Um, but once we uh, put the slide in here and um, look, and we load the film, we want to just make sure that the film's not going to get damaged as it's being loaded. So make sure your film holders are nice and clean uh, from uh, oil, finger, fingerprint oil and also from dust. Let's look at our film. This is a box of Ilford HP film that uh, is a dummy box. This box is actually specifically, I'm going to use it for an example in this video. Do not open your box of film in light. Um, boxes of film are sensitive to light, of course, because there's, you know, you go out and shoot this, it's sensitive to light. That's the point of it. So do not open this in the dark, unless you're in a dark room, in a blackened dark room with no lights at all. But just for an example, I just want to be able to show you how the box works so that you can get into the box and get your film out. Um, so let's get started. So our box has three parts to it, top, lid, and on the interior of the box, there's a second kind of lid. And within that box is another little box. And then you have a plastic bag. When you uh, get this, there may be a little piece of tape holding the bag closed. It depends. Uh, this bag is uh, blackened so that you can't get light to it, but don't open this in daylight because you may have a light leak in it. Uh, that would be bad. So make sure that uh, you're keeping your uh, film safe. We'd open the bag in the dark. So we're in the dark room in complete darkness. We open the bag and I usually generally just slide this out far enough that I can get to the film. Generally there are two pieces of cardboard, one at the front and one at the back, and your film is going to be in between. Uh, you can uh, gently grab a uh, sheet of film, push everything back in, let it slip down there, and then we would uh, grab the film holder and load the film holder, and I'll show you that in a minute. But I want to talk about the film itself. Uh, each type of film that uh, you purchase uh, comes with notches at the top. These notches are an indicator of the film itself and the type. So let's say, for example, you'd loaded up your film holders and you forgot what kind of film that you had loaded into it. Take the film holder back into the dark room, um, find the notches. Uh, you can go by the number of notches and also the width of the notches as you feel in the dark room. Once you kind of have that in your head, uh, you can uh, put your film back in your film holder without ruining it. Uh, take it in, uh, take it out, find your boxes of film, or go online and uh, you can check. But on the back of the box of film actually is our notch system. So it tells you what notches are the, um, in, that are indicated with the film. So this actually gives you an idea of the notches that you're going to be using. Um, once I am ready to load, or once I've loaded my film into my film holder, of course, then I'm going to make sure that my box, uh, that I put my, um, I wrap my film back up nice and tightly. I'm going to make sure I have the small box first, put it in the small box, and make sure it fits in there nice and snugly. I'm going to take the bottom of the box and put it in. So this is a light safe. Uh, this is making this more light safe. That's why there's three bo uh, three box tops here, basically, or bottom and, and two box tops. And then I'll put it together like that, and I've got my uh, box film back in my box. 
Now let's look at our film and putting it into our film holder. So let's practice first. So get a film, a piece of film uh, from your box. And you can take the box into the dark room, get the p a piece of film out and bring it into a, a lighted area. Make sure your box is closed so that you don't get light to your box, of course. We're going to take this uh, dummy piece of film and we're going to practice. And if you're a first timer doing this, this is going to be very important for you to learn how to load your film before you get started in the dark room itself. Because being in a completely dark area is kind of a little um, overwhelming sometimes um, to a lot of people trying to figure out where how to get everything together. So we don't want you to, to, to do that. We want you to actually be confident when you get into the dark room and remember how to actually load the film. So let's look at the film first. Again, we have the notches. We've talked about this before. We have the notches at the top of the film. The notches, if they're on the right, the front side of this uh, film right now showing towards you is the non-emulsion side. If we flip this over, the emulsion is on the back, on the, uh, back side. When this goes into the camera itself, we're going to want to make sure that the notches are on the right for um, no matter if you're left-handed or right-handed, it doesn't matter. We want to make sure these notches are on the right so that when we put this in there, the emulsion is going to be facing towards the lens. So we want the emulsion side facing towards the lens, not the, the nice shiny glossy side of the uh, film. We want the emulsion side towards the lens. So putting this on the right and then grabbing our film holder, we're going to make sure that our sliders um, are set to white on the outside or silver, depending on what kind of film holders you have. We're going to make sure that that, and we'll pull the slides up, or pull the first slide up, open up the flap down at the bottom of the film holder here. We'll grab our film, and making sure that the notches are to my right, I am going to slide the film into the holder and underneath the film slips. Now this can be a little difficult sometimes if you get them off just a little bit and it goes underneath uh, into the slide channel, uh, that can actually damage the film or uh, the film can catch as you put the slide uh, holder or the slide back in place. So make sure that you get these under the grooves. You can actually feel the grooves in the dark if you need to, just to make sure that it's, uh, the film's going in correctly. Slide the film all the way up until it stops. Once it stops, close the flap and then push your slide into place. That should then cover up the entire film. Make sure that this isn't sticking up and then put your lock into place. This is going to indicate, of course, to us that uh, the film is loaded in here and ready to go. So let's do it one more time. Again, we're going to take our uh, slide, make sure that the white side is out and also has the bumps, remember, to indicate in the dark that that is the white or silver side. We're going to pull this up, place it down uh, to um, uh, the, the butt end of the uh, film holder towards uh, uh, away from me. I'm going to open up the flap, grab my sheet of film, making sure that the notches are to the right. Slide the film up into the film holder, making sure that the notches again are on the right bottom here. Close the flap. Slide the slide into place and lock it. Now, this, is, this film holder is ready to go. If I didn't have dummy film in here, I could go out and start my first shoot. So that is how a film holder is loaded in light. As I said before, when we're uh, loading our film, we need to do it in a complete dark area. Now that doesn't mean that we have to have a dark room at home to actually load our film. We could use a changing bag. This is a changing bag. There are different sizes of these uh, changing bags. I actually prefer a larger changing bag myself uh, that I can put a box into and then put my film into the box and, and then I can work a little easier. But most changing bags don't have a box inside of them. Um, they, um, this is a smaller changing bag. We've got our box of film and we have our, um, and our, we have our film holder. To, to do this, it's very simple. We just open up the zippers at the end of our um, uh, film bag. There are two, uh, our changing bag, there are two zippers, the first zipper and then there's a secondary zipper on the interior. This is just a double way of making sure that the uh, film is not gonna get light to it. We're gonna take our film box, place it inside of our changing bag, 
and then we'll take our film holder and put it inside the bag too. Uh, generally, the way that I want them is to be uh, the uh, slides towards me. That's the way I typically work, um, so that when I put it in there, I'm ready to go. I'm going to close up the film bag using um, the zipper, so I need to make sure my zippers are nice and closed and that uh, the, the end of the zipper is all the way across so that both zippers are ready to go here. Then I can turn the uh, bag around. These uh, two sleeves here go up and over my arm, just like this. And once they're in place, and I want to make sure that they're tight, if your uh, uh, film bag um, if your holders are not tied around the edges, you can leak light, so make sure that they're nice and tight. Once you have that done, then you can um, take your film out of your box and load your film into your holder. Put the film in, get it out, get a roll of uh, sheet out, and put it into the film holder. Once I've got it in there, close the slide, do the same on the opposite side, make sure that I lock the locks into place and the silver side is out by using uh, touching the edges here. And once I'm done with that, take my film, uh, make sure that you've closed up your box, of course, before you take your hands out. Um, I can then take the uh, film out, or the everything that's closed up and ready to go. I can then just open up my zippers once again and take my film, uh, film out and my film holder out, and I am ready to go. Now you can put multiple film holders into your bag and change multiple uh, uh, film holders in the bag at the same time. Uh, and that's basically how to use a changing bag. We're back in the studio. We're gonna be looking at our film holders for this segment. Our film holder here is ready to shoot as we know that we've set the white parts out or the silver side out so that the film is loaded into the holder. If you by chance happen to accidentally grab a film holder that has the black edge uh, showing on the outside, you'll know that you've already shot that roll of film or that uh, sheet of film and we don't want to actually uh, uh, reshoot unless we're trying to do double exposure. So um, we've got our uh, white sides out here. We're ready to shoot. Uh, we've got the camera set up, it's focused, the uh, shutter speed set, the aperture is set. All we need to do is uh, take the exposure and set up the film holder in the camera. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull the back back just a little bit. We don't want to pull it too far because if we do pull it too far, what can happen is the spring in here can actually snap out of place and then we'll have to take it in and, and repair it. So we just pull it out just a slight bit. We take our film holder and we slide it into place with the, um, with the slides up and when we're in portrait mode like we are now, we push it down into place. We want to make sure that it doesn't come out the bottom, which happens sometimes because it might just get pushed down there too hard. Uh, if it comes out the bottom, that can cause a light leak. If you don't push it down far enough so that it catches in its hole of the slot down at the bottom here, that will also can cause a light leak. So make sure that this is in place before you actually go to take your shot. Our next step is to unlock the front slide and then pull the slide out. We do not want to put the slide, leave the slide holder partially in. The reason why is if the wind comes around, it can actually shake the camera. So take this out. Now, one of the other issues could be that if you have a light leak in your film holder up at the top, this is when that would actually occur that you would get a light leak through the top of this if the felt was bad. But hopefully, your film holders are all good and are light tight. So this shouldn't allow the sun in at all or any other light source. Once you've got this ready to uh, take a photograph, we're going to go to the front of the camera here. We're going to cock the shutter. We are going to look at our subject, make sure that everything is accurate, and then we're going to fire the shutter. Once the sh uh, shutter is fired, it has taken a photograph onto our film. We're going to then take our slide and we're going to put it back in black side out this time. So we'll turn it around so that the black side is facing out and not inward to our film holder. We're going to slide this back into place. The slide now is in place, so we'll lock it down. Once we have it locked in place, we can gently again pull the back of the film holder open, uh, the, um, the back open just a slight bit. 
pull, um, pull our film holder out directly straight up and we have our film holder now out and you can see that the black side is now outside of our film holder. Our next step is that we're going to take our next photograph in, la in landscape mode instead of portrait mode. So what we're going to do is to, uh, to do that, we're going to, on this particular camera, some cameras have a rotating back, you can just hit a switch here and rotate it. This camera actually you have to take the back off. So to take, uh, put it in portrait mode, we're just going to pull the slides up and down on the bottom here. We're going to uh, take our back off and it is uh, just a little bit tight there. We're going to turn it sideways, put it back in place, slide our uh, slides back into place on the bottom, and then our slide on the top back in place so that the back doesn't fall off, of course. Next, we're going to do just exactly what we did a minute ago, just uh, we're doing this in landscape mode instead. So we're going to take our next our film holder, the same film holder that we had the black side here. We want to make sure that this black side isn't going towards the, the lens. If that happens, what you can do is make a double exposure by accident. So make sure that you have the white um, part of the film holder on the outside. We're going to push that towards the lens open up the film back, slide it into place, making sure that it is in place and ready to go. We're going to then uh, pull the, uh, the lock out of place, pull the film holder out, cock the shutter, grab our shutter release cord, fire the camera, Take our uh, slide holder, um, our uh, slide, and make sure that the black is facing again towards the lens. Slide that back into our holder. A little hard at this angle. Slide that in. Once that's in there and re uh, back where it's supposed to be, make sure that the lock goes back into place. Gently pull this open. Slide your film holder out. Once you have your film holder out, put this aside uh, as shot so that you'll know that this is shot. I usually put it in a little plastic bag um, and put it back into my camera bag while I'm out shooting. So I can then take that and put that away. My film holder is ready for me to take into the dark room and that's where we're going next. Once we've finally got ready and we're, we've learned how to actually put our film into our holders, we are going to go into the dark room, which is right here, and we are going to load our film. So you need, you've done your practice, you're ready to go, so let's head into the dark room. Go into the light. Ah! 